Mo Monday. We've been asked questions about where is the PSA of a drilled symmetrical ball for a no-thumb bowler, basically a two-hander. And here are two different ones. This one, there's your PAP. This one, the pin is five inches from the PAP. And this one is three and three-eighths. Okay, now where are they going to spin when they're drilled? Well, this is the low RG axis, the pin is. We raise the RG of this axis because every time you drill holes into a certain axis, you raise its RG. So that's going to drive the PSA to try and be opposite the finger holes from the pin. May not be exactly six and three quarters, but we'll see what it is. Okay, let's go for it. That's pretty stable to me. Okay, what do we got? Ah, it is opposite the finger holes. Pin on one side, PSA on the other. Let's see if it's six. It is six inches, not six and three quarters. So this is six inches, but the grips are between the pin and the PSA. Low RG, raising the RG, that's close to the high RG. Let's try it with the three and three eighths. See what happens when we do this one. Okay, if I can keep track of myself, there I am. The determinator is trying to find the high RG axis of the ball, because that's the axis it wants to spin around. That's pretty stable to me too. Okay, ah. Opposite side of the finger holes from the pin. Maybe not perfectly opposite, because perfectly opposite would be through there. So it's a little bit this side, but finger holes are between the pin and the PSA. And in this case, we're at six inches again. So it's looking like in our initial investigation that the PSA is going to want to be around six inches from the pin opposite the finger holes. Is this going to affect the motion of the ball like the PSA does in a, for a bowler that's got a thumb and his fingers in? No. This is just a phenomena based on the dynamics of what's going on and the geometry of it. So here's a small anomaly, but it's going to be opposite the pin and it's not going to be significant on the motion. When I drill balls for no thumbers, I try to put the CG on the vertical line between the fingers. This one is, this one's a little off. I'd have probably drilled it over here, but it wouldn't have any effect on the motion. What's going to affect the motion is, if I draw the line from the PAP to his ring finger, how far the pin is above that line will tell me how strong it's going to be. So my suspicion is this one will be a little more controllable, a little more predictable, but will stay on its axis. This one will roll up because this distance is five inches, but when it rolls up, it's going to kick. In looking at this, let's talk about the depth of the fingers. We strongly recommend in order to stabilize the axis that you drill the finger holes on a no thumb driller three and a half inches deep. Every ball we've ever drilled with thumb and fingers in it, we're removing four or five ounces from the ball. That's creating more stability. We're doing this ball, and these are lady ovals, so they're very small holes. They're going to get twitchy unless I drill them deeper. And my suggestion is minimum three and a half inches deep on finger holes for no thumbers to help stabilize the axis and make the motion more predictable. That's your Mo Monday for this week. We appreciate the interest.